Welcome to a special episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm here with my special guest, Javier Rivera. And why don't you introduce yourself and tell us what you're going to do. Yeah, I'm Javier Rivera. I'm doing the retro ride I've been doing for a long time. So what I want to do is I want to show how it's done, how's the mixture, and I want to make sure that you guys do it right, the, the right way. Wait, before we start, what's Retrobrite? Okay, Retrobrite is a process to um, a mixture of, uh, let's call chemicals, but they're really not harmful chemicals, uh, that we mix them together to apply to a plastic that is yellowed, and that will create a reaction with the sun that will make, uh, restore the original color. What it does, it takes out the bromine that it was used in, in the plastics. Uh, with time, it, that, that converts to yellow because I think it loses oxygen. What we're going to do is we're going to regenerate that oxygen to the plastic. So we're going to, uh, by that time, by that way, convert it to, to white again, to the, the original color. Awesome. And are there right ways to do it and wrong ways? <laughs> yes. Uh, a lot of people that use uh, salon care cream, that shouldn't be used because it, that's, uh, it doesn't let the, the sun rays to pass right away. So you better go to the, the clear one, that it really allows it to do the sun rays to pass away and really makes the mixture and the, the process good. Cool. The thing that you gotta do is you gotta uh, use OxyClean and some arrow root. Just to, the arrow root is just to make it thick, so it doesn't evaporate fast. So what we do is very easy. We do. Um, it's gonna be one teaspoon for each hundred milliliters. Okay. So what I'm gonna do with this doesn't have to hundred. So I'm gonna. It's 150. So I'm gonna do a little bit more than 150. There you go. And then, of course, instead of one teaspoon, I'm gonna do two full teaspoons. <coughs> oh, and I need the teaspoon also to make the, the arrow root. That also is gonna be one teaspoon. And again, this is just to thicken it up. Is any of this uh, dangerous or poisonous? No. Actually, they use in, in hospitals, they use, th this is for people to, uh, for ladies to uh, dye their hair. Yep. So if it doesn't do anything to your hair, it doesn't do anything cool. to you. What it does, it, it kind of burn you a little bit. So if you touch it and you keep it in your hand, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get some white later. Okay. So we, oh, I forgot the, the gloves, but we use gloves. It's not like crucial. It, it, if it gets into your eyes, it doesn't do anything to you. Yep. It just burns a little bit. Uh, you, you clear with water, nothing happens. The awesome. same with your, your hands, you just wash it and it will go away in a few minutes. Okay. So, nothing bad. They use this in hospitals to, to actually clear wounds. Cool. So, you know that it's not harmful to you. So, that's one of the things that people need to know. This is not harmful. This is just out of uh, things that you use to clean your clothes. So, it's basically you're cleaning and also making the sun uh, create a um, reaction. So, I'm gonna mix it a little bit more. And what's gonna happen is with the heart of the sun, it's gonna begin to foam. All right. So we're about to apply the retro ride. So this is basically, we're gonna, we're gonna paint the plastic. We don't wanna wrap it with anything. We're just painting it with this, like we're painting a wall or painting a, you know, something. Just paint nicely, even. So we don't have any, any too much in certain areas. We're painting like a, you know, you would paint a, a wall or something like that. Make sure it's even, a little bit more, and it will begin to foam itself. Also take it with you. I'm using gloves so people don't get scared that oh it's touching his arm, you know, everything. You can do it bare hands. It will just burn a little bit. But you can do this itself, you should. Don't go into the into some labels. This label on the monitor will take it with no problem, but some labels on another on other boards won't take it so nicely. So better not to go into it. Remember to remove the the upper logo. That's very important because if not, it will eat it. How'd you remove the logo? 
there's a, there's a hole in the back of all the we gotta be very careful not to leave any extra at this point it doesn't matter because it's so yellow that it doesn't matter. there's a difference between the the 2C uh, Snow White and this is uh, actually Platinum so this we're gonna have to check it more often because this can be done real fast so how, how fast is fast? Uh, in about an hour maybe it will be, will be done okay. with this, with the 40 with the Silent Care 40 so again, careful with, uh, with the labels so go around it don't really touch it if you can if you touch it uh, you can, you know, take it out with a little, um, you know, piece of paper or something. Also, you know, sometimes if you do it without cleaning it before, it is not a requirement to clean it before retro riding because, you know, remember, you're using a cleaner over here, so you're you're actually cleaning it at the same time. You know, OxyClean, it's a it's a detergent, so. All right, so here we are at the end, and uh, the process is all over, and how did it go? Up already. It went really well. It's already getting really, really white. Uh, like an hour more, maybe two hours more, and it's gonna be done. Uh, everything is going really good. Uh, now, the, the last thing that I gotta tell you guys is that you gotta watch out these things. Babysit. Do not just sit, leave it, and go. You gotta come over here back, Check it out. Maybe rinse it again. See how how it's going, and put a new a new piece of you know a, a new coat. Are you just rinsing it with water or yes. anything? Yes. Rinse it with water, okay. and if, if you're doing something like this, you you don't take it out. Just rinse it with a you know a, some paper cloth or something with water. Yep. And that's it. All right. Well, Javier, thank you so much for thank you very much showing us everything, and we'll have some links in the show notes to uh, more instructions. And thanks for watching. Thank you.